And that's what it is. It is stupidity. Arguments should not lead to guns being fired off, period, period. Juneteenth has taken on this kind of symbolic reverence as the day that the Emancipation Proclamation finally got to Texas. But in reality, the Emancipation Proclamation didn't actually end slavery. Juneteenth happened two years after the Emancipation Proclamation that was scheduled to begin on January 1st, 1863 by Abraham Lincoln. But in Texas, the enslaved people were not allowed to practice their freedom until June 19th, 1865, and people Happy Juneteenth, or belated Juneteenth. Juneteenth was yesterday, June 19th. If you're not familiar, for those that are not in the community, it was a national holiday signed into law in 2021 that celebrates the independence officially of African Americans in the United States from the Emancipation Proclamation. Okay. So similar to MLK Day, it's supposed to be a joyous occasion to celebrate black people and our heritage in this country in a positive way. However, on Juneteenth, just like MLK Day, every year something always happens negative, unfortunately, when it's supposed to be something positive. So apparently on the 19th, yesterday in Milwaukee, it was a celebration of Juneteenth and a fight broke out between minors. It was really, you know, anywhere from 16 to 19 range and they started fighting, started carrying on and then shots rung out. A 17 year old pulled out a gun and started firing. Yo, like, I know white people or other other communities that are not familiar with the inner workings of our community looks at situations like this like you guys can't get it together so we had situation from the blm movement stealing money and misappropriating funds however you want to categorize it and that was an example of hey, you can't give them up and you can't do nothing with them and now mlk day and now juneteenth day we're having constant negative things in the news, nothing of positivity as it was intended. So here's a clip. We begin though with breaking news. Six people are shot following today's Juneteenth celebration. All of the victims are teenagers and one's believed to be a shooter. Fox 6's Ashley Sears joins us live. We just got some new information from police within the last hour. Ash, what have you learned? Yeah, Ben, police say it started as a fight between girls about 20 minutes after the Juneteenth festival ended. That fight escalated to gunfire. Oh, there she goes. A scary ending to a day meant for celebration. As thousands were heading home from the Juneteenth festival, chaos broke out in the street. It's sad. How can we celebrate when it's our own, our children? that are doing the shootings. Camelia Pickett was nearby with her family when gunfire erupted. They ran and took cover. We don't know what's going on, but we hear the shooting. Milwaukee police say two groups of girls were fighting near Chambers and MLK around 421 when a 17-year-old boy pulled out a gun. 16s were shot, including the shooter. No handgun, no weapon of destruction should be in the hands of our young ones. So, I mean, it's just a really unfortunate situation that this stuff shows up in our news feeds and contradicts the progress we're trying to make in the community. What are your thoughts about this situation? Put the comments below. Talk to you soon. This is Marcus at Work Media. I'm curious on your thoughts.